Hi, subscribers, developers and friends. I'm Stefan Bertos and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I would like to speak about a hidden gem that you can find in Spring Core module if you look closely. Basically, it's about Spring uh, conversion system coming from the core convert package. But why would you care if there are enough of third-party libraries like Jackson Object Mapper, Model Mapper, Mapstruct, Dozer or Orica and so on? Or why would you need a converter or mapper at all? How to configure conversion service? What converters are already defined in Spring out of the box? How to create custom converters? I'll try to answer those questions in this video. So first question, why would you care about Spring conversion system if there are plenty of third-party options? I can think at least about one use case which is worth to talk about. This is when your external interface has different data structures or different file names and the third-party libraries would not automatically or magically convert this as you want to. And you would need some customizations, which means a lot of uh, custom code to write usually. This could be a situation where you are redesigning an existing system into a new technology stack. But you still need to keep the original interface. Sounds familiar? Then my suggestion would be why not to use something which is already available in Spring ecosystem, assuming you are a Spring fan. Second question. Why would you need a converter or mapper at all in your application, module, REST API, component or microservice? And the answer could be the reason is basically because you want to build something which doesn't expose implementation details to the consumers of your API service, microservice, whatever. And basically you would only expose what should be exposed to the external world. This means that the interface you expose should be somehow loosely coupled from the internal implementation details. Your interface will be there for some time, <laughs> assuming that the project will not be cancelled. And most probably it cannot uh, be changed uh, so easily. Instead, a good practice is at least to version it. So for example, you are starting with version 1 of the interface, then you will create version 2, which introduce some breaking changes and so on. But internally, you can, you can change all what you want and it should not interfere with external interface. To be able to do that, you need something which will be able to convert or map external data structures to your internal representation and back. So now we know why we need that. And let's spend some time understanding the options what we have. So there are usually a lot of options which you can use. And I already mentioned them, like Jackson, Object Mapper, Model Mapper, Mapstruck, Dozer, Orica all have some advantages and maybe some disadvantages. But remember, those are third-party libraries and they can be a good fit for your purpose. Or you then need to customize it. Sometimes the customization, it means uh, to write a lot of code and the question is, is it is it worth? Will it be readable? Will it be understandable for the next guy who will uh, take over your code? And that's the point. Let's imagine the fields and the structures on the external interface are completely or mostly different than the internal object structures. So maybe you are better uh, if you just write completely the mapping uh, yourself. Yeah, Maybe. But if you know that Spring offers the Spring Conversion service, you could do better. Or at least you could do it much more nicely. And next question. How to configure Conversion service? You can look at the documentation, the link will be in the description of the video, or follow the practical demo part. So first we will look at how to configure, how to configure the conversion service, how to create a custom converter, and as a last we will check what Spring already supports. Enjoy the demo! So the documentation for the Spring uh, conversion service consists of uh, a nice uh, 
article how to use that it's not just about the conversion service but converter factory and some details uh, generally about the converters how to use them and so on so read through it yeah but uh, let's rather go to the demo and i will show you um, what i learned and how i using that so let's switch to intellij uh, of course all the code is in my github repo and uh, links in the description of this video so basically if we start let's start with some gradle dependencies what we need is obviously some java <laughs> spring boot and for the demo purposes we will be using um, spring starter from webflux and as well some um, dependencies which are uh, obviously optional but we want to use swagger ui so there is some dependency on the spring docs and webflux ui and more or less that's it for the database we will use so in memory h2 database okay but that's just for a warm-up so we will be building very simple and stupid application please don't publish this code into production this is not a production ready application just meant for the demo purposes of this video and the application is very simple and we have a rest api for a product version one as i said it's good to version it okay and currently our api rest api in this case supports three operations first is get all products so basically on the root context without any parameters then get product by id when you need to specify id a part variable and third one is to create product with the post mapping so simple as that in this case we are using flux as a uh, uh, web flux as an underlying technology but it doesn't matter what i said uh, is that we want to have an external interface which is uh, externally available to the customers and then some internal representation of the data which doesn't need to match one to one it doesn't need to be the same structure it can have different fields and so on and for this purpose then you need to have some conversion or mappers so our external interface is having some object or portal or dt or value object or whatever you call it in this uh, example it's a product dto so if we check the product dto this is a simple record in this case it has an id name description price image and category you see all of these are prepared with some prefix like product id and so on yeah and this is how the in external interface is defined good our controller is using service and it should not be product service product order service but product service let's fix that and obviously all of the controller methods are calling our service method so let's jump to the implementation code of the service and the product service is as well pretty much simple and under the hood it is using two beans first one is a product repository bin and second one a conversion service bin so what happens if i want to get all the products i obviously need to call product repository uh, find all all the methods and then i need to do some conversion from the entity object to my dto object and by that i can use whatever converter i want but as i said in this case because all of the fields are different yeah <laughs> different that they have a prefix i choose to use the conversion service and we will show uh, the details for that but basically what i wanted to say is our service for the order is using under the hood some conversion service which converts either the entity to dto or it converts the dto to entity and that's the case for create product where we from the external interface receive a product dto and then we need to 
convert to representation which we store into database and that is basically our product entity of course you would usually implement checks or whatever yeah but that is not purpose of this demo after that is converted we will just save it into the database so we are using standard repository okay so i showed the product dto and now maybe i could show as well the product so the product is a standard entity it has an id name description price image category and the dto it has the same fields in this case but it's really prefixed so the normally the conversion would not be a simple one of course you could customize your converters and so on some uh, does support this like uh, loosely coupled uh, conversions or whatever that can be but you could have mu much more complicated case where that would not work and you would need to customize a lot your, your third-party libraries anyway we said that we will use the spring core conversion service how to do that usually it's best to create some configuration for that and define your own conversion service uh, in the configuration class yeah like this which is basically a new default conversion service and you would add converters so specifically here we would add two converters first to convert our external representation of the objects to the internal one and then second one to convert it back so convert an entity to the product DTO um, if we want to use these converters what we need to do basically writing some code so let's jump into the code for them and it's pretty straightforward so the converter needs to implement converter interface and what you need to specify there is from which object to which object like from left to right so on the left it's from the product dto or you can call it the source and target and the target is a product basically this interface is forcing you to implement a convert method where you have the source and then you need to write some code to do the mapping and in this case mapping is pretty much straightforward yeah, because the names are similar yeah they are not the same but you just see that the name is mapped to product name and so on yeah so this is the code which you need to use uh, to manually convert that on the other hand the converter from the other side like from entity to product dto is pretty much the same but there we are using the record so we can do a record with all of the parameters uh, in the constructor like this and that should work yeah? it will return the target uh, DTO which we need in this case um, what else do we need let's go back to the product service obviously we said that conventional service is a bean so this is our bean we will use uh, Lombok to generate or auto wire the uh, the beans via the constructor injection so easy like that and then just using it how to use that you use a conversion service bin and always use convert and then specify the source and the target class source object and the target class and it will basically convert it similarly in this case a conversion service is again using the same convert method and you provide the object which you want to convert and the target class and then the conversion service knows which converter it should use if you would for example not have the implementation for this it would basically throw an error saying that this conversion is not supported or something like that if you if your converter needs to depend on the conversion service that can be done as well you would just need to specify here a conversion service in the constructor and basically you can use it here then the conversion service and use some other converters so from one converter you can you can use other converters if the conversion uh, is maybe sometimes not so 
trivial or the objects are not so trivial what you could do you could uh, create a wrapper object and then basically create a converter for these wrapper objects so in this case you can also have some complicated conversions but better is to split it into some uh, simple ones it's easier to test and easier to maintain and read and whatever so there is also a question does spring support uh, some converters uh, under the hood yes it does and if you would navigate if you would navigate into the spring favor core converter you would see what converter support is there and you could also see that it supports um, already a couple of uh, interesting objects and those converters are usually used in the sp uh, spring rest controllers and so on but as you see there is some internal support for for example spring to boolean or whatever yeah and this is nice to know that it's really used by spring so don't be afraid uh, to use that it's uh, it's really proven to work correctly and it's i think a nice uh, way how to you know separate the code into into some package where you would have just the converters which are converting you know the data from source to targets yeah, maybe not mm, messing up with some business logic but mm, just doing some kind of a technical converting but this is up to you yeah you can end up then with uh, <laughs> hundreds of converters but it's really worth to try uh, in the case that you don't have a trivial conversions like really the structures are different or uh, fields are different in the naming or types or whatever then most probably you need to do the conversion manually or extend the third-party libraries or if you are a spring fan you could use conversion service okay and just to see that it really works let's run it so when we execute the application it should start up successfully and because we have swagger ui we can then open it and when we open the swagger ui be careful it is on the web just swagger ui index html we can first uh, try to search for the for the product uh, let's try it out So there is no products. We can as well try to search for the product with ID. And it should return not found. Cool. And then we can click on the post method to create product. And you can modify it however you like. Let's execute. And at the end, it should return as the product ID. Looks nicely. So let's try to search again and yeah seems to be working yeah cool and that's all folks so i'm not saying that's a silver bullet to your problems but in mention use case it can work pretty nicely actually i didn't know about the conversion service or converters but a colleague from my uh, recommended this uh, when i was doing uh, something similar uh, at my job and um, special thanks to richard so as you as you see i'm as well learning and there is always room for improvement and recommendations so thank you and bye